Stewardship is an exciting concept. It's challenging, but it's incredibly rewarding. I've been involved in school leadership since 1997, uh, initially as head teacher at Silent Sester Deer Park School in Gloucestershire, and then at John Cabot Academy as the principal of the academy, and before that the CTC, before it became part of the Cabot Learning Federation, and more recently uh, as leader of the Cabot Learning Federation in my role as executive principal. And I think there have been a number of bits of learning for me about what excites me about that role, which I'm sure you're beginning to think about as you move into this phase of your career development and this personal journey that you're about to start. I think there are three points I'd make about it. The overriding point about what excites me about headship is the opportunity and the capacity to make a difference. And I talk to my colleagues about the learning triangle that exists between students, between staff and between their parents. And when those three corners of that learning triangle are really working well, I think the child's chance of being successful in school um, is, is at its peak. But making a difference to students doesn't work in isolation. As a school leader, you have to be conscious of the development needs of your staff. Your workforce are your greatest asset. You're probably spending approximately 80% of your budget on the people that you employ. So developing them, nurturing them, supporting their development, managing their performance are really key elements of being ahead. Students also look to the principal of their academy, their school, their head teacher, to give them um, a code for how they're going to function both as students but also as emerging young adults. That role modelling that is so important from the head teacher uh, is never more true, I think, when we're talking about the impact it has upon young people. And I'd say that parents, as the third part of that triangle, are equally important. For some parents in our community, school wasn't a good experience for them, and their memories of being a 16-year-old themselves in school may not be positive. And what we're looking to do as leaders in schools is to rebuild that confidence. If those parents had a great experience in school, they'll have expectations that are very high about what the school would provide for their child. So a dialogue with parents, involving them in the school, making them part of the learning community, I think is really important. The second aspect that excites me about headship is the impact we can have upon school improvement. And school improvement is complex, there are many different aspects to it, but I think there are three key areas that the head has to be prepared to lead on and have the ability and the capacity to describe to his or her colleague what it is they must do. The first of those is teaching and learning. Everything else is an intervention that supports that, but the core business of a school is the quality of teaching and learning that happens in our classrooms day in, day out. And for heads, particularly new heads, it's the challenge of getting to grips with the quality of that day in, day out. And are there any differences, for example, between the quality of teaching and learning on a planned lesson observation as opposed to a drop-in? But understanding the pedagogy and the impact of subject knowledge is a really important facet of being a head teacher. The second one is to understand how students are engaged and how they are supported and what systems and structures operate in your school that you want to keep or that maybe that you want to change that will have a really more profound impact upon the attainment and the achievement uh, and the engagement of the children in the school. And the third one, I suppose, actually permeates everything that we do and it's the quality of leadership. And I think one of the messages I want to communicate through MPQH is that everybody on payroll, everybody who works in your school, Everybody that has an interaction with young people is a leader. It's not about their job title, it's not about necessarily their job description, and it certainly isn't about the office that they sit in, but it's about the way that they work. And leadership, right across the school, when it's really truly effective, is one of the huge levers on school improvement. The third element uh, of excitement about headship, I think, is that of being a community leader. Schools have never existed in a vacuum, but even less so in 2012. Many schools now work as part of formal or semi-formal organisations and have partnerships with primary schools, with business, with industry, within and without of their local authority. So the role of the school leader in building those networks and reinforcing them for the benefit of the students in their school is probably one of the things in the last five years I've noticed has changed out of all recognition. So I think when you look at that, that matrix of the sorts of ways in which you can make a difference the desire to be a real lever and a driver for school improvement against the background of how you function within your community. Those are the things I think that excite me about headship and I hope they excite you too. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to reflect upon that, that question, what excites you about headship? And I'd like you to put together a 500 word piece 
a think piece that we can use as a stimulus for our online discussion, but also for the first group debate when we meet together on the induction day in November. Thank you very much.